Nah, turn the thing around like this, bro. Turn the camera around. Oh. Turn the um, rotation. Shit, pop up there. All right, how you turn it? Um, oh yeah, right here. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mhm. Mm Shalom. Shalom. Bar Shem, Yahweh Shah, Bar Shem, Rukar Kodash. Yeah, the brothers, I'm saying, up there teaching right about them. We down here doing a little lesson. Do the spirit you have, Rashi Nosh, you can bring it back, bro. Do the spirit you have, Rashi Nosh, roll one of the brothers, edify. That's what we do on it for the elected commission of Israel, which gets this uh, so called Nick Rolls, Rashi Nosh, and Native Mechanics, man. Right. You see the title, man. It's going to behoove you, Nick Rolls, Rashi Nosh, and Native Mechanics. He's the God of the Bible. What's the Bible talking about? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's going to behoove you, Nick Rolls, Rashi Nosh, and Native Mechanics. Now I'm just, it, it turned darker, so I just. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you see the slave ship sign, you see the uh, so called white Jesus Christ sign, and I people have no questions, but you see the guy walk around with a banana suit on, and you go going to ask him a hundred questions, right? Like he got all the answers right. to your questions, man. Well, he don't know nothing, <laughs> but the men that do know something, according to the Bible, you, you mean tell me you ask them no questions? Right. The guy of the Bible said, seek the Lord while he may be found, man. It reads, call ye upon him while he is near. Right. Well, who's teaching the name of the Lord, man? The apostles and elders of great millstone and the men on down, man. Right. We're teaching in the name of the Lord, man. We're teaching you the high holy names, the proper names to call on, man. Right. To be delivered out of Babylon, man. Right. AKA America, man. Sodom and Gomorrah, the land of the wicked, man. The majority of these people walk around there don't know what the hell going on, man. This is, this is what we call um, costume day. But, but this is not a costume, man. These are ancient garments, man. That's right. So this is costume, then you got people walking around like bananas. You know what I'm saying? Apples. You know what I'm saying? Um, witches and warlocks, beggar balls. You want to chime in, feel free. They're asking them questions. We're supposed to be asking the men of the Lord questions. Right. Pursuing your house while she knows shot, man. Okay? Inquiring minds, she want to know, man. But the minds of our people are bugged the hell out, man. So they most definitely ain't teaching the Lord, man. While we out here on the highway and the flowers. They're going to wait right to all hell break loose. But we're nowhere to be found. And then they're going to be trying to seek us, man. Right. But they ain't going to find us, man. So read that. Finish right. reading that. And then we're going to go straight to Amos. Yep. Amos. It reads verse 7. Take your time. Yep. Let the wicked forsake his way. Yeah. Seek the God of the Bible. You have a question. You have a shot. Forsake your wicked ways, man. That's what the God of the Bible is telling our people. Because you have a question. You have a shot. Speaking through us, man. They actually think the God of the Bible is going to come down here. Right. And it's the foul ass kingdom, bro. Right. It's just being polluted, man. They teach them something. No, man. They got us down here doing their business, man. Right? Go ahead. It reads on. Verse, uh, Isaiah. Let me just say this, bro. These are the people who are supposed to be a 
do, do, do tell you we ain't gonna come out there and everything. And then what we do, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? A guy like you, I'm gonna be out there at 4 o'clock doing away with three lamb chops, so come out there, man. And look, I ain't got that many, right. that many boxes, you know what I'm saying? So be out there. If he come out there at 3, you come out there at 8. Is that guy gonna be out there? Nope. You know he gonna be going, yo. Right. Cause he came out there at 3, or he came out there at 4, and that's 8 o'clock. You think he's still gonna be passing out lamb chops right. at, at 8 o'clock? Right. Nah, yo. That's just like this word. You need to be getting in there, man. As soon come to God, the Bible ain't gonna have us out here, man. Right. Teaching you the best word. He gonna get the answers to your questions, man. So your questions, you need to be asking questions now, man. Go ahead, bro. Yep. Verse 12, the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 12. Right. And they shall wander from sea to sea. Yeah, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they didn't want to hop into the words you have, but you know, they're gonna wander from sea to sea. They're gonna be going bonkers out here. They're gonna be losing their mind, man. But the scripture says the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures shall be the stability of that time. Yep. So if you ain't got the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, it's gonna keep you stable, then what are you? You unstable, man. Right. That means you're gonna bug the hell out out here, man. And then look, and this is a serious message, man. Right. This message is deadly serious, man. And it reads on. And they shall wander from sea to sea, right. and from the north, even to the east, right. they shall run to and fro. Right. Meaning our people are going to be bugging the hell out. Our people are going to be losing their minds to the tongue. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you see walking up and down the street, each and every week, ignoring the words of the Lord. This, this scripture right here pertains to you, man. That's right. You're going to be losing your mind. You're going to be going crazy soon. Come, trying to seek the men of the Lord and preaching his word. Right. So you're going to finally admit that they had the truth the whole time, yep. man. And you, and you was an asshole, man. Yep. You was a fool, a blockhead, a meatball, an imbecile, man. Right. Go ahead. It reads, they shall run to and fro right. to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. And look, look, now, ooh, there it is. Right. Ooh, there it is. Right. You can't seek the man of the Lord or find them, man. No matter where you look, I think you're going to be looking upon a rock and everything trying to find a man of the Lord. Right. Right. It's got to be upon that right. rock. Right. You don't see them on the street. They're going to be telling they stuff, man. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. You have a bunch of stuff and they shall not find you. Look, man, the famine in the word is worse than a famine of bread. You know what I'm saying? Because when you ain't got the knowledge, we're going to understand the truth. You know how fuck. Come, come on, man. Look at, our, look at the mindset of our people, man. They don't have the word, man. That's why they walk around with mohawks. You know what I'm saying? You got that's, that's why they walk around with mohawks. That's why you got a such thing as a 6 9. A guy walking around, you know what I'm saying, with a cold hey. little face tattooed up, man. He can't even see what this dude looks like. Hmm. Why? Because he's he destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. He didn't seek the Lord, man, where the Lord could be found, man. That dude seen a camp. He ran into the brothers in Hawaii. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the little power, man. Yep. Yes, um, Give me Zephaniah. Give me Zephaniah um, chapter 2, 1 through 2. The God of the Bible send us out here every weekend, man. It's not a game, man. We don't come out here for our looks, man. We come out here to deliver a message, man. A serious message, man. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Right. Gather yourselves together. Right. Yeah, gather together. That's right. O nation, not desire. Who's the nation not desire? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. No one desires to be like y'all. No one desires to be around y'all. Y'all only entertain it for these heathens, man. No, that's all, man. They, look, they want to be around y'all when, it, when, it's, um, when, when you're making them laugh. When, when you're, you know what I'm saying? Right. Man. We, we might have to move down, too, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. It reads on, verse 2. Before the decree brings forth, before the day pass as the chef. Can you bring that down? Uh, well, yep, before yep. the decree brings forth, man, before America is destroyed, man. You know? Go ahead. Before the fierce anger of the Lord cometh upon you. Bring it down, Yeah, because the Lord is going to bring a great wrath at the scripture saying, pursuant to Isaiah 13 and 9. So I think we need to speak to the Lord early, you know, before it's too late, before he takes his hand off the highway of the Bible from pushing it to the law. Okay, and that's the decree that's going to um, come forth. Let you know to repent, which means to turn back sorrowfully before it's too late. Okay? It says, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Okay, and it's going to be calamity, it's going to be death and destruction from Jacob's trouble. Martial law, famine, race riots, all those things you want to get caught up in that. Just walk and talk. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, uh, those ICBN missiles, man, it's going to destroy this place, man, because our people didn't want to um, take heed to the decree. 
Nothing is um nothing is scripted, you know what I'm saying? Everything ain't never rehearsed, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, Jim, that's on the go, on the you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Seek the Lord, man. That's how deadly serious. That's how that's how serious this message is and this word is to us, man. You know what I'm saying? We look, look, we we walking and talking, you know what I'm saying? Right. Breaking down the scripture, man. It's all love, man. You know? And, and look, and Jake is out here. Find the camera around, bro. Jake is out here, man. The streets flooded with people, man. The majority of these people are Israelites, man. Jacob, man. You know? That's good. Mm -hmm. What did that last part of that scripture say, bro? It says, All ye meek of the earth, which have brought his judgment. That's talking, that's talking about the elect of the nation of Israel, man. We know what happened to us, man. When we did, when we stopped seeking the God in the Bible, we see the exactly what happened to us, man. We got destroyed as a nation, man. You know? We, look, we went head first into captivity, didn't we? Then we end up on those cargo slave ships when we ain't seek out our power, you have our Chanel shop, we want to do our own thing, you know? I don't know, Jeff, you might want to take them armor rattles back up to the brothers, though. Come, yeah. come put this down here right now, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Wait. It reads, what you have brought this judgment. Right. You sit on that. Wait. Seek righteousness. Seek, seek righteousness, man. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Seek righteousness, man. No, seek wickedness. Seek righteousness. See, the Bible's telling us to seek righteousness. Man, come up with it, man. Yeah, y'all both on camera. Mm -hmm. Y'all both on camera. So, the people want to stand by the side. Okay. okay. That's too far back, man. That's what's going to be heard. Damn, I wasn't heard. What is it again, bro? It says, seek righteousness. It didn't say seek wickedness. See, the only thing our people are seeking right about now is, is a fun time. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're seeking a party. You know what I'm saying? They're seeking some hoes. They're seeking money cars, folks, and hoes right. right about now. But they're supposed to be seeking the Lord, man. Right. The scripture says, seek ye the kingdom of heaven first, and all these things shall be added, man. Right. What are people doing? Are people seeking wickedness, man? Because right. they don't love the Lord, man, like they say they do. They hoop in the holiday each and every Sunday in church and, and a couple of days throughout the week. Right. You know what I'm saying? What is it? Prayer Wednesday or something? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All this nonsense, yeah. man. Yeah. So they ain't seeking the Lord, man. This is what you call seeking the Lord, man. You know, going out here and listen to the men of the Lord preaching the Bible, man. Right. It says, seek meekness. Right. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. So that's how the God of the Bible is coming back, man. Angry, man. Angry. Pissed off, man. The scripture of um, Isaiah 13 and 9 tell you the yep. day of the Lord is cruel, fierce, and full of wrath and anger, man. Right. Then you know right there, the guy in the Bible was sick and tired of you Negroes, Latinos, and then the He dead straight up, fed up, man. Right. Shit, if we, if we tired of two-thirds, how much more the Lord, man? Right. You know what I'm saying? How much more our Lord and Savior, man? Get, um, you had something? Oh, um, let me watch five and seven. Yeah, you can bring that up. Yeah. The book of Sirach, chapter five, verse seven. Right. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. See, look, you Negroes, Latinos, and then the y'all ain't got all day, man. Right. Like you think you do, man. He ain't got all the time in the world to just shuck and jive, playing around. Yep. He, he, ha, ha. Oh, look, the God of Bible said, I'm about to turn your laughter into mourning, man. He's about to turn your laughter into mourning, damn it. Yep. Go ahead. And reads on, and put not off from day to day. And don't put it off from day to day, man. Uh -huh. 
Because God the Father is coming back swiftly, man. You don't put this off day to day. So uh, y'all gonna be out here next right. weekend, knowing damn well you right. ain't coming out here, man. Right. You already know you got plans already. Right. You done made plans for the next couple of months, but then you're gonna ask the man of the Lord, are we gonna be out here next weekend? Lord right. willing, we will. Right. But you already know your evil intentions is to not come out there and get the word, man. So don't even ask that question, man. Right. Yeah, if I can chime yeah. in, it's like uh, the scriptures say, as the days of Noah, you know, uh, people giving into marriage, right. uh, married to giving into marriage. Right. That's what you see how people are doing now, man. They're tearing, man. They're, they're, they're thinking that, oh, we got time, you know, to, to, to come back or to listen to the men of the Lord. Right. But it's going to be too late because the Lord is going to close that door um, uh, that, that, like he did on the ark with Noah and shut all the people out, man. And that's spiritual argument. The Lord is going to take his men off the highways and byways and, and his word is not going to be going forth anymore. Okay? So it says, um, book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, right. and put not off from day to day. No put not from day to day. Oh, yeah, my Bible said right there. The man of the Lord told me to pick my Bible up. Right. Because the God of the Bible is speaking to us, right? Yep. Telling them to pick their Bible up, right? Yep. Look, 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 that thought is in their hand. They told me to pick the Bible up. But shit, I, I, I think about doing it tomorrow. Let's say you know tomorrow coming. Let's say you know next week coming. Let's say you know next year coming. You still ain't picking up your Bible, right? Is the screams of these heathens, man, to get hmm. the flight. That's, That's right. the only sound you're gonna hear. And those lions, you know what I'm saying, taking a big bite out of your ass, you know what I'm saying? They right. growling, you know what I'm saying? Right. And you're you gonna hear the, um, the screams and hollers of you being, you know what I'm saying, crushed to death by them pythons, right. the size of um, dinosaurs, and they right. fucking squeezing you to death, man. That's the only yeah. sound. Other than that, it's gonna be peace and quiet. You're gonna hear birds, you're gonna hear water, rivers, and all yeah. that, just flowing yeah. and all that, man. Yeah. Not, not here in America, though, man. Right. Number noise, man. Right. Let's get out of here, man. Seek the Lord, man. Right. It says, and put not off from day to day. Right. For suddenly. They're going to be out there next weekend. I'm good. Mm -hmm. yep. you know, look, look, say a prayer for me. Right. They always say that nonsense, right? Right. Say a prayer for me. Nah, you know. Pray not thou for this people for their good. Mm -hmm. So in Jeremiah 11, chapter verse 14. 14. It says, for suddenly. Right. Shall the wrath of the Lord come forth? And you know, anytime something happens suddenly, it always catches you off guard, mm -hmm. man. Like a dude, I'm, say like you walking right, and one of your homeboys see you right, he hide behind the wall and right, shit right, like that. Right, 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 right. right. That's how you know, so you walk up, you get, boom, and catch you off guard. It happens suddenly, right? Yep. You want to wear of it, right? That's how the God of the Bible is going to catch the majority of our people off guard suddenly, man. They're not going to be aware of the martial law. Yep. They're not going to be aware of the sin. Yep. They're not going to be aware of the race riot, you know? You know, and all other things, man. They're not gonna be aware of it, man. I guess you gotta ride around and collect all those things, man. Right. The people that left all this shit, all this in that town and shit, right? Folly, sending great right. dignity, man. Right. <laughs> Folly, man. Right. Hey, that's a fucking rule, man. I don't know what that was. One time? Look like it. Look like it. Folly. <laughs> Go ahead. It reads, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And the wrath of the Lord is, is going to come forth suddenly for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's two thirds, man. Right. How long have we been rolling? Uh, 20, 23. Huh? 23. Oh, yeah. It reads, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. Right. And as soon as you think you got it locked, stock, and barrel, you know what I'm saying? You secure, and nothing going to happen to you. That's when the guy that probably going to roll on you, Nick Rose, Latino, and Native Americans, man, and destroy y'all peons, right. man. You copper top, you drones, man. We'll be destroyed in America, man. That's right. It says, and perish in the day of vengeance. We're going to bring out like two more, and then we're going to wrap it up. Give me, um, give me Psalm 34 2. You're gonna behoove you, Nick Rose, by. We ain't doing this thing by our looks, man. Right. You know? We're putting our lives on the line, telling our people to see the God of the Bible, man. Right? Look, why he may be found, man. Right. Right? Call ye upon him while he is near, man. Right. All ye meek of the earth. Right. Go ahead. The book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 10. Right. The young lions do lack. Right. And suffer hunger. Right. But sometimes you see the lions in the field or whatever, they don't got nothing to eat, man. Right. Might not be no buffalo right. or no zebra roaming around. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Put them to eat, man. So sometimes they suffer hunger, man. Go ahead. It says, but they that seek the Lord shall not 
want any good thing. Right. And, and what's the good? The knowledge, what's the understanding of the scriptures? Those that seek to have, you know, I understand. Yep. I know, right? What did he say when you need right. it, man? But those that seek to have, but you know, shot the meek of the earth. It says, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Right. And that's talking to the elect of the disciples. You're not going to want nothing, man, according to the scripture, man. Right. You know? And, and like the scriptures say, be content with what you got, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The ones that are seeking to have a bunch of people are going to be content with what you got. That's right. Okay? I did a girl earlier, man. We don't see that shit for the living. But I don't want to talk about it. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Verse 11. Come, ye children. Hearken unto me. Right. And that's the children that's talking about. It's talking about the children of the Lord. The so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American like Israelites. Man. That's the children that he's talking about, man. He's not talking about all the little children of the world. Like, right. that, like the uh, pastor tell you, right. man. When they sing them little songs, right? Mm -hmm. Right. When he loves all the little right. children. Man. No, man. He's talking about the children of the Lord, man. Right. But only the elect on his side, man. Right. It reads, Hearken unto me. I will teach you. The fear of the Lord. And that's what we are here doing, man. We're teaching our people the spirit of God in the Bible, man. Right. Sing the God in the Bible, man, with fear and trembling, man. That's right. That's what the scriptures say. <laughs> Serve the Lord with fear and trembling, man. <coughs> like, uh, get, um, come back on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Right. 
I said on that, bro? We'll bring one more to the lane or whatever. Get, um, Psalms 40, 16. Yeah. Well, remember, we'll bring 40, 16? Yeah. Look at Psalms chapter 40, verse 16. It reads, let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. See? The, the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, the sick and how about you know what The Lord said rejoice, man. Because your reward is going to be great in heaven. Right. You know what I'm saying? Can you catch hell or whatever? Look, uh, the God of Bible just, he's helping us stop. He's stuck your body, your body, you know, back to not how it's supposed to be, but it's better than what it could be if you don't stop your man. You know? He said rejoice, man. When you start seeking your eye, brush your shut, rejoice, man. Don't be all sad. Hey, hey. I gotta seek your Lord now. Hey. Nah, man. He said rejoice, man. Go ahead. It reads, let such as love thy salvation say continue. The Lord be magnified. Right. That's what we out here doing. Rain sweet snow. You got to find your eye, brush your shut. Right. Go ahead. It reads on verse 17. But I am poor and needy. Let's go, man. We'll bring one more. Get on. Let's follow the church. Shem, Yahweh Shah, Ba Shem, Rakar Kodash. Shalom. How you turn it off? How you turn it off? Uh, 